Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com. So, the day has come. Unfortunately, I've been trying to protect you guys from learning about this one thing for a long time now. We've been doing our programming tutorials on Python. We've been making some other fun videos. But you guys have to learn one of the most amazing things that you can learn in computer programming and actually one of the most important and fundamental things. It's called mm -hmm. the command line, okay? So you guys have to actually learn this no matter how much you try to avoid it. So I have thought about and tried to put together different ways of how you can learn it, and I have found the best resource for you guys to learn this, okay? Because I know this can be a little bit dry, but once you start getting a little bit of hang of it, it's probably the most fun thing because it gives you some magical powers. You can essentially do things around your entire computer without leaving the keyboard and one window. You can delete things, you can download things, you can distribute things throughout your entire computer, you can have processes that can save things for you automatically, you can run automated tasks like putting something into your computer and then it sends it to some other place automatically for you that you have done so it does give you some tremendous power without it you actually won't even be able to do things like web development or software development so let's jump right into it and start learning about the command line so this resource you can see up at the top it's the link is this web.mit.edu slash blah 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 i'll put that in the description below so you guys can go to it directly but let's just jump into it and start playing around with it, okay? So I do want you guys to play around with this game first and get a hang of it, and then when you start actually learning the command line, things will make a lot of sense, and you will be kind of ready to go right from the start. So, okay, let's see what kind of options it's giving us, okay? It says, look at your surroundings with the command ls. So the command ls in the Linux command line or whatever actually really stands, you know, I forget what it stands for, but essentially it's for listing files or listing things. So you get to see where you are, okay? So if you are currently in the directory like user slash whatever slash Kazi and maybe you have documents or whatever around you, ls is the way you actually look around, okay? So let's go ahead and type that in. So I typed in ls and you can see it's showing me some different locations around me. It's showing me this green land with the big building. So what can we do with this? It says here are your locations, Western Forest, Northern Meadow, MIT, and then you have some items like welcome letter. Okay, so what can we do to this? What can we do with this information? So to move to a new location, you can do cd location. So that's the equivalent of actually moving into a directory. cd stands for change directory. So let's change our directory, okay? So let's go into maybe the western forest. Mm, I wanna see what's there. Let's go cd western forest. And now in command line, you don't actually have to complete the whole command. If you're partway right with what you're trying to do, you can just hit tab and it will auto complete it for you. So I just did CDWE and I just hit tab and it auto completed it for me. Another reason why I'm on this website is because if you have Windows, you are going to run into some terminal and command line problems. This avoids that. So when you're learning it, you're not being distracted by anything. And then you can download something called Git Bash. That's G I T Bash. You can download that and then play around with the same command line that essentially the uh, Linux or MacBooks or Ubuntu, they offer you, okay? So let's keep going, CD Western Forest. So now I'm in the Western Forest. I don't see anything, I'm kind of blind. So every time I move into a new location, the first thing I should try to do is maybe look around, right? That's what you do when you enter a new room. So let's do that, let's hit LS again. Without even thinking, I wanna get into this directory, hit LS. So you've moved into Western Forest. You enter and travel deep into the forest. Eventually, the path leads to a clearing with a large, impressive building. A sign on it reads, Spellcasting Academy, the elite school of magic. 
All right, so we look around and we see some trees. We see this big building in the back. What, what is that all about? Maybe I want to go explore that. So here I have Spell Casting Academy. That's a location I can go to and I have some items, sign and back sign. Hmm, how can I read these items? Okay, so for example, if I actually opened up my terminal, right? Let's, let's just do this live. So let me open up my terminal. No, thank you, I don't need any updates right now. And uh, you can see I have a lot of stuff around me, right? Anaconda, applications, C-Line projects, desktop, and all this, right? So if I want to actually change into one of these directories, I can do CD documents, and that will take me to that directory. But notice I don't see what files are in documents. So to do that, well, what command can I actually hit to look around me? If you've been following along so far, you will know that the command is ls. So I will do ls and hit enter, and I can look around me. I see Adobe, I see Chestastic, I see Clever Programmer, I see the directory Final Cut Pro. And to show you guys this in real life, kind of what it looks like is let me open up my finder here and let me go to documents where is documents uh, documents right there and you can see Adobe is the first one right and that we see that right there then we got Chestastic we see that clever programmer Final Cut Pro and you guys get the idea so we're actually changing directories changing things kind of right from within the terminal okay and then later I'll show you guys how to do things like run your Python script right from the terminal. But uh, right now I'm just trying to get you guys the idea and make you guys comfortable with it. Okay, so that's how LS is working right in your command line, okay? Command line, terminal, I will be um, interchangeably using these terms, so don't get confused. I'm essentially saying the same thing. Okay, now, how do I read something, right? So what if we have something to read? Like for example, products underscore export one. That does not look like a directory. That looks like a file. So how would I read that? Well, I think I can do less, do products um, export and hit numbers and uh, yeah, see it anyways. So it is a binary file, so it doesn't make sense to actually see it, but you, you can see that if you do less, it'll show you. So less is essentially for showing you the contents of the file. So if you had some TXT file with some text in it, you can actually take a peek in it without getting inside of it. So if we want to look at our item sign and back signs, perhaps we can use the less command. So less sign, hit tab to autocomplete. Don't type it all in because you will make a mistake or a typo. And also because you're lazy and you don't want to type that much, right? Uh, I know I am. So let's hit less sign and we see this. Spellcasting Academy, the elite sign, the elite school of magic today, only free introductory lessons. Novice is welcome. Okay, cool. Let's read about back sign. If you ever want to go directly home, just type CD with the squiggly or just plain old CD and you'll get back home. Getting back home might be more, getting back might be more difficult though. Hmm, so let's see. Right now I'm in this forest, right? But initially when we started, we were in some other location where we could have gone to Western Forest, right? So right now we're into rest Western Forest. How can we go back? Well, let's hit CD and let's see if it takes us back. Let's hit LS and we can see that we're back. Now let's do the same thing in our terminal so we make sure that what we're learning in this play environment is actually uh, in tune with our actual environment in our computer. So let's hit you can see that I'm in this directory documents. This probably is not my home directory. As a matter of fact, it's not. So let me hit CD and let's just go back to our home directory. So anytime I'm lost and I'm too deep in some directory, I can always hit CD and get back home. Okay, so now if I look, I'm back home. All right, well, there's one more cool thing. So at the top, they introduced a command called PWD. And that command shows you where you are. So whenever you are lost and you want to know exactly what your location is, what your address is, you can hit PWD. It's the equivalent of going onto Google and looking up where am I right now. Okay, that's what your PWD is. 
and how you read it is actually print working directory. So if I open up my terminal again and I do PWD, you can see it tells me I'm in slash users slash chestastic. Well, that's my home directory. If I go back to documents, hit tab, um, come here, if I do PWD, you can see it goes slash user slash chestastic slash documents, okay? So maybe you guys are getting more of the idea. So I wanted to introduce you guys with the ls command. That's the one you always use, like without even thinking. I wanted to introduce you to the cd command, the change directory command, so you can actually move back and forth, leave a room, and come back to a room. And then I wanted to tell you pwd, which is essentially where are you. Okay, so that's it for this video. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how you can actually run your own scripts. All right, guys, I'll see you there.